everything's happened to me, and I haven't happened to anything. So, so things have happened to me, I think I'd better start happening to something. And one thing, yes, and, and one thing after another has happened to me. I mean, it's quite incredible, actually. It's, it's the most extraordinary thing. I don't know how it's happened. I think it's going to stop any minute. Am I allowed to talk? Yes. Where did you get your tie from? <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah. Did you have me sing I didn't like that Sydney no. Lumet one? <laughs> you will be kind, won't you? Oh, I'll do. I trust you. Not secure enough that I can lose parts here. <laughs> I suppose the pot that I go back to the Beatles, I mean really isn't it? Um, that you know, we were lucky enough that they were quite cool and hip. And there weren't an awful lot of cool hip people around. Not a majority. And that they became idols, and like any idol they were copied. And so that's why London perhaps is now cool and hip. Oh, I think it's a super thing. Terrific. I mean, because it, it, it's not only um, associated with the idea of freedom, that from there goes on to be an idea of pleasure in a way. And I think people are sort of having a good time. Um, maybe, I don't know whether when I say a majority, I don't know because one only knows a certain group of people, and maybe it's a minority. But it seems to me that a good time is is much easier had by all now than you ever before. Ideal pleasure. Well, pleasure, I think, is terrific. Fine, yes. And if you haven't got anything else, then then you're lucky to have that. What do you love? The sun. I'm terribly superficially. <laughs> terribly. Sunflower, good book, cat. What do you love? I love strong relationships, they are. Of any sort. Well, you're not a superficial person, then, if you figure I think everybody loves strong relationships, don't they? The sort of thing in cinema of... Oh, it's exhausting, of this working up so that your two, three-second take is at absolutely the right pitch of emotion, however low or high it is. You have to work yourself up, because, I mean, whatever... whatever you're doing, I mean, you have to be in some sort of state of emotion for it to be able to to do it and not be yourself, just talking or something. And that sort of s constant screwing up that of hitting the right note without testing anywhere. Yeah. And then, you know, of course, on stage you start and you hit along testing all the time. That, that uh, is one of the main things for me, one of the main differences. I enjoy it very much, all that screwing up of nerves and energy and everything to go bonk. But then I, I, I love sort of working up to something and feeling it coming and sort of flowing and or not going, you know, that as well is something you miss. Now I went away to, of all places, the Canary Islands after Dr. Zhivago all by myself and didn't talk to anyone for a week, which was marvellous. Terrific. Like being a child again. Oh, lovely, you know. Time to indulge all your fantasies and daydreams. Almost become religious again. <laughs> Why are you religious? Well, I went to a convent. Well, everybody's religious when they're little, aren't they? A lot of people, I think, that middle age is the time I would have thought when you're ripe for happiness. You're not ripe for happiness now? Oh, certainly not. Not that sort of happiness, no, you know. No, that sort of happiness. 